welcome to today's taste note. I'm going to tell you a bit about this. This is Terre Rouge. This is an American wine. This is a Syrah Cabernet blend. Oh, wow. Now, um, now but let me tell you a little bit about these guys. Funky so stuff, man, there was this do. lovely, lovely lady who owned an importing company. Her name was Hilary Gibbs. She was a delightful lady. She's sadly no longer with us. Oh. Um, and uh, she, she, um, she um, and a chap. Rob McCullough um, imported this wine for a bit, uh, and um, and then uh, she sold her company to um, another importer, and they obviously took on some of the stock, I think. Um, and this is a 2013 their Garig wine. Now we're looking at a wine that's ten years old, um, uh, a Syrah uh, and a Cabernet blend. Cabernet. And we used to stock Terre Rouge. Unfortunately, oh, really? we used to, yeah. Right. But they never, for some reason, I don't know why, they, they just never worked for us as a as a as a as a as a product. Yeah. So we 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 sort of moved away from them, which was a shame well, a because shame I because always liked them. The, but the, the nose is quite incredibly. But that's uh, it. This is uh, you know I've never had anything this old. Um, the oh, other from, thing from is yeah. The other thing is um, as you can see. It's got yeah, a it's little. It's got, it's got, I think it's been kept pretty well because I think it's been kept upside down because, as you can see, the staining on the wine, the bottle, yeah. is up at the top. So we're going to see what this oh, is like. like this. Yeah, yeah, turned upside down. Um, so we're going to because normally if it's on its side, you'll see the staining down one side of the bottle, but this is actually on its top. So I think it's been kept upside down, which is a good thing. So. All 2013. Right. So I don't know if these wines are meant to be aged. So you know, if this is awful. We're not saying it's a reflection of the company. Yeah. Far from it. It's just it might not be a wine to age. But I think it should be not, okay. It's not awful. It's a, I, got, no. I got a really sort of profound vanilla on the, on the, on the nose. There is that vanilla. There is a there is a, a almost a... Um, it's got... You can see the syrup. You can see that spiciness from the syrup. Yeah. But you've also got that big cherry sort of black currant sort of thing from the cabinet there yeah. that's actually quite pretty still um i yeah. think it's it can age more that's that's young mm. it's still fine mm. but i wouldn't age that much longer i also do have an issue with cabernet syrahs i just don't particularly care for them but this is actually it's okay. It's still holding on. I'd say it's if if you need to. It's quite a masculine wine. I mean, yeah. It's got it's got depth and it's got power. There's still a grip of tannin to it, but I don't think that tannin's gonna go before the fruit does. The fruit's already on a slight slide down yep. into into being much more of a delicate fruit, and by the time that tannin has gone, mm -hmm. I think it might the fruit might have gone. I, I think this probably three four years ago. When there was a bit more sweet fruit, a bit more noticeable, be more sort of berry presence, yep. that would have balanced out that tannin a bit more. Right. Um, but um, but it's still okay if you've got some of this in your cellar, you'd still drink it. But I'd drink up um, because right. it's it's I I think it's just it's it's not got a long future ahead of it. I don't think I might be wrong. Might be wrong. What are your thoughts? No, I think I think it can definitely age a bit more. Um, ju juicy sort of. Juicy sort of acidity and then and then tannin, uh, quite quite profound and then there was sort of expanding and then yeah, um, good condition and definitely age well. Yeah, I think. I I I thirteen is definitely not we'll, too old for it. No, we'll we'll disagree on the aging thing. Yeah, but but otherwise it's is, still nice. Thirteen is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, this has been a nice little chance to try this. Well, um, not, I have to say not. I think I would say not. For, a style that both of both of no. us like because we we like sort of gentle more and more sort of yeah uh, softer wines but yeah if you like structured gutsy wines still all right yeah dilly do do